Hello everyone, today I'm gonna edit a couple more photos from different cameras including this one with the Canon EOS R so, and other photos with the A7S Mark III also and some Fujifilm so let's get started so I have preloaded this uh, photo in here and this, is, uh, this was shot using the Canon EOS R so I'm gonna edit using Visco so I can use a slight uh, so the color is already very good so I'm just using slightly a little bit of HB2 in here so just slightly um, edit a little bit more contrast for this one and increase the contrast and then increase the sharpness for this one so white balance it depends how do you want your feed uh, you can just change the warm or uh, cold depending on your feed do you like warm color or cold color so by default right now it's pretty good already so I'm gonna do the cropping uh, cropping more to the center yep so that's how it looks like uh, almost similar to the one that I posted on my Instagram feed and then save it and you can save save to camera roll save as actual size so here's the next one next one I'm gonna use this one this one was by the Canon EOS R also so let me check it out different filter from different effect so these are my top fav uh, favorite filter A4 has more like desaturated tones so HB2 has nice brown uh, dark contrast for me so I'm gonna reduce exposure increase the uh, contrast highlight safe uh, and then sharpness a little bit and I'm gonna reduce a little bit more exposure and the next one is for cropping so I'm gonna crop it closer so it's tighter for this one and if you don't like the, that uh, dark spot you can patch it out later in the snapseed as well but for, for now I'm just show you how to uh, like create that tones for the four color and next one so this one was by uh, using the 35mm f1.4 so this was the shot that you saw in my feed uh, so I used the E5 as a base or HB2 both are very nice for the 4 I think I used the E5 for that one but let, let me try the HB2 so I'm gonna use HB2 50% and then increase contrast increase highlight safe increase sharpness reduce slightly a little bit and then the next step is to uh, rotate perpendicular nicely perpendicular and then crop it tighter uh, for the more impact uh, visual impact so that's about it for this one and I can use HP2 as uh, all E5 either one switching HP2 don't uh, make it too much maybe just 30 percent is fine i can just increase a little bit more of the contrast so that it stands out even more and this one was by canon eos r as well so it's similar to this one so i'm just gonna copy edit and then paste edit so it's still a little bit too bright for me so i'm gonna reduce the exposure a little bit and then crop make sure that uh, enough headroom on top and then save it and next one I'm gonna edit the um, Sony a7 III photos and I'm gonna use HB2 because HB2 has a nice dark brown color it is more suitable for the uh, more suitable for the coffee shop style so I'm gonna increase the contrast and then reduce the highlight save decrease the exposure a little bit more so it has nice natural lighting from the window uh, outside of the window so one thing make sure that um, is no direct sunlight 
but um, just have some subtle uh, ambient light from outside the window to inside the window. So you sh should the model should face toward the outside of the window to get the natural light. So this shot was shot uh, uh, by the XT2. I did some detailed shots uh, on this one. So I'm trying to edit some uh, four color in here. So make sure the camera is around lower third area just to make sure the ratio is nice and then increase the contrast. So the color, um, the base was from the X-T2. X-T2 has more contrast uh, than X-T3. Um, so it depends, uh, do you like more contrast or do you want faster focus for X-T3? If you like more contrast, uh, just go ahead and uh, choose the X-T2. X-T2 is still very good price right now if you are considered between X-T2 and X-T3. So I'm just gonna crop it uh, closer. Make sure that it's on the third uh, ratio from the camera for the detail shots. So because the previous one is similar, I'm just gonna go to the previous one and then copy edit and then save paste the edit to this one. So and it might be too bright so i'm gonna increase the contrast a little bit more okay so the next one this one was by the sony a7 III so let me see you can use either e5 or hp2 as well so i'm gonna use hp2 because the nice leaves has the, the hp2 has nice brown on that i'm gonna increase the exposure uh, the contrast highlight save and then rotate a little bit of the position because I want the perpendicular to the ground so uh, you can see I'm trying to position the head on the top the area of the ratio from the um, the whole image so the third uh, the rule of the rule you don't have to be exactly on that one just a similar style is fine so i'm just gonna copy and then paste the similar style to this one and i'm gonna use xp2 for this one just to show some different xp2 a uh, the e5 a little bit brighter and i'm gonna reduce the, the crop a little bit and then rotate slightly a little bit more yep so that's it that's my edit so on average my edit is like one and a half minutes and this one is a four style i posted a couple days ago i'm just gonna copy and then paste to see how it goes the same uh, similar tone is too dark for me so it's too dark i'm gonna do e5 and then if it's too red, I can decide desaturate it a little bit and rotate the edge. The white is too distracting for me, so I'm gonna crop the edge, the left edge, and then leave a little bit of the headroom. So that's cleaner after I crop the uh, white edge. So those those edges sometimes like create distraction a little bit. So this is another window shot using the Fujifilm X-T3. The original tone is like this. I'm gonna use H, uh, E5 for this one. Increase the uh, contrast, reduce the exposure so that it has more subtle light on the face. Highlight safe and then rotate a little bit. Um, and make sure the head is on the top third area. Yep, so it's about this crop and then that's it last one so this was my uh with Lindsay and using 90 millimeter 90 mm f2 wr so i'm gonna use e5 increase the contrast and then reduce the exposure so there's a simple quick edit for this one because i like the tone already so i'm gonna save it and I save save as actual size okay so that's all I have for today thank you so much for watching stay tuned for more video and behind the scene videos uh, from my photo shoots coming up thanks bye